Hi, today our lesson is simple equation lesson number two. First of all, I will tell you if you are not subscribed my YouTube channel, please subscribe it. Then you will get more videos like this. Now we come to the lesson. When you study simple equation, it is very important to study what is cross multiplication. That means if you take a over b equals c over d, then we can write multiply this a and d as a cross and b and c. That means a into d a d equal b c. Likewise, you can write it or b c equal a d. This is called cross multiplication. That means as a cross, you can multiply these two. A into D, A D equal B into C, B C. A D equal B C or B C equal A D. Now we start the lesson. Now say that question number one. Solve. That means find the value of value of x. First question, x over 2 equal 3 over 5. Now what? You can multiply this as a cross. 5 into x, 5x equal 2 into 3 is 6. So 5x equals 6. Now both sides you can divide by 5. Then this side also 5, this side also 5. Then you can get rid of this 5. So 5 and 5 cancel, x equal 6 over 5. That means x equal 1, 1 over 5. Okay? Right. Now we do the second question. Second question, x over 3 equals 7 over 4. Now again we can do the cross multiplication. So 4 into x, 4x equal 3 into 7, 21. Now we have get rid of this 4. How to get rid of this 4? So we have divide this side by 4. Then this side also we have divide by 4. 4 and 4 cancel, x equal 21 over 4, that means 5, 1, 4. Okay, right, now we do the third question. Third question, x over 5 equals 7. Now can you do the cross multiplication? Yes, we can. Why? 7 is what? 7 is actually, if you write 7, that means 7 over 1. The idea is 7 over 1. So therefore, we have to write 1 here. Now we can do the cross multiplication 1 into x x equal 5 times 7 is 35. Clear? We got the value x equal 35. Now we do the fourth question. Fourth question is x over 9 equal 5. Now we can do the cross multiplication. Why? Here 5 means 5 over 1. Then 1 into x x equal 9 times 5 is 45. Clear? Right. Now we do the fifth question. Fifth question is x over 7 equal minus half. Okay. Now this minus belong to where? You can take minus belong to 1 or minus belong to 2. So I will can write x over 7 equal minus 1 over 2. Now what? 2 times x, 2x equal 7 times minus 1 is minus 7. Now I will get rid of this 2. So therefore I divide this by 2. In this side also by 2. 2 and 2 cancel. x equal minus 7 over 2. That means minus 3 and half. Okay. Right. Now we will do the 6th question. 6th question. Uh, we will take a x over 6 equal minus 3 over 5. Now what? We can do the cross multiplication. 5 into x, 5x equal 6 times minus 3 is minus 18. Now we have to get rid of this 5. So this side I divide by 5. So this side also I have divided by 5. 5 and 5 cancel x equal minus 18 over 5. That means minus 3, 3 fifth. Okay, right. Now if you get a question like this here. 8th uh, question. x over 11 equal minus 1 over 7. Now what? 7 into x, 7x equal 11 into minus 1, minus 11. So both sides get by 7. So x equal minus 11 over 7. That means minus 1, 7, 4, 7. Okay, right. Now we do the 9th question. It is the different question. x over 2 plus 7 equal 10. Now how to do this one? First of all, we have to get rid of this 7. So, yeah, therefore, I have to subtract 7 from this side. So, x over 2 plus 7, I subtract another 7 this side. 
no seven and seven will get cancelled. To balance, other side also have to subtract seven. Then seven and seven cancel. X over two equal three. Three means what? Three over one. Now we can do the cross multiplication. X equal two times three is six. Okay, right. Now we we'll do another question. Tenth question. X over three minus five equal eight. Now how to do this one? So here minus five is there. So to get rid of this minus five, I have to add five here. So x over three minus five plus five. Then other side also I add another five. Now minus five and plus five cancel. X over three equal thirteen. Thirteen is what? Thirteen over one. So if I do the cross multiplication, x equal thirty nine. Okay. Now we do another one more question. Eleventh question. X over four minus seven equal nine. Now how to do this one? So I add plus seven here to cancel this minus seven. X over four minus seven plus seven equal nine plus seven. Seven and seven cancel. X over four equal sixteen. Sixteen means what? Sixteen over one. Now I do the cross multiplication. X equal four times one into x. X equal four times sixteen means sixty-four. Clear? Now today my lesson is over. We meet the next lesson. Thank you very much.